Hello friends, this video on fractions part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about different types of fraction, we will look at some questions. Question number 1. Find the equivalent fraction of 3 by 5 having denominator 30. Okay, so we have to find out equivalent fraction of 3 by 5. That means we will have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by such a number such that the result has a denominator 30. So that is our aim. So now just think, what is that number which when divided by 5 gives 30? 6, right? So what we will do, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by 6. That's because we need to multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. So if denominator is multiplied by 6, so the numerator also must be multiplied by 6. So this would be 18 divided by 30. So 18 by 30 is the equivalent fraction. Question number 2. Check whether the given fractions are equivalent or not. So we, what are the given fractions? 7 by 13 and 5 by 11. So whenever we have to check if they are equivalent or not, the first thing that we do is we try to convert them into their simplest form. Now let us first see if they are in their simplest form or not. So 7 by 13. When you see, look at the factors of 7, they have... It is 1 and 7. When you look at the factors of 13, it is 1 and 13. So that means that they do not have any common factor other than 1. So 7 by 13 is in its simplest form. What about 5 by 11? So the same thing holds true for 5 by 11 also. So 5 by 11 is also in its simplest form. That means are they equivalent? No, they are not. So these two fractions are not equivalent. Question number 3. Ramesh had 20 pencils, Shilu had 50 pencils and Jamal had 80 pencils. Okay, so we have Ramesh, Shilu and Jamal. So they all have different numbers of pencils like 20, 50 and 80. After 4 months, Ramesh used up 10 pencils. So how many pencils were used up by each of them? So Ramesh had used up 10 pencils, Shilu had used up 25 pencils and Jamal had used up 40 pencils. Okay, what fraction did each use up? Now, if, if you talk about the fraction of pencils which Ramesh used up, so he used up 10 pencils out of 20 pencils. So 10 divided by 20. So if you try to convert it into its simplest form, you would get 1 by 2. Now I am not doing the entire process again. You can do that. Find the HCF of 10 and 20, divide the numerator and denominator by the HCF, you will get 1 by 2. Similarly, how many, how, what fraction she do used up? She used up 25 out of 50, which is again equal to 1 by 2. And what about Jamal? Jamal used up 40 out of 80 which is also again equal to 1 by 2. So we find that 10 by 20, 25 by 50 and 40 by 80 these are all equivalent fractions. Now check if each used up an equal fraction of his or her pencils. Yes they all used up equal fraction because each of them used up half of their pencils. Question number 4. Fill the following by the correct number. 5 by 8 is equal to 10 by dash. Now, how would you get 10 in the numerator? Only when you multiply the numerator by 2. So, if you multiply the numerator by 2, you have to multiply the denominator also by 2. So, what would be the result? Here, 8 into 2 is 16. So, this would be 16. Similarly, in this case, 24 in the denominator and 4 in the denominator of the result. So that means what have you done to 24 to get 4? Since you have got a smaller number than 24, that means you must have divided it by some number. And what is that number? 6. So therefore here also you will divide by 6. So this would be 3. Let's look at the third one. So here in the numerator you have 15 and in the numerator of the result you have in the numerator you have 45 and in the result you have 15. So again you have a smaller number that means that you must have divided it by some number and what is that number which when divided which which when divides 45 gives 15. 
that's 3. You can find that out in this fashion also. 45 divided by 15 is equal to 3. So this would be 3. So if you divide this also by 3, so the denominator would be 20. So in this fashion here, you know, whenever you are working with fractions, you should be very much aware about the factors and multiples. So I, I am sure you would have gone through the chapter on factors, multiples, HCF, LCM. If you have forgotten, so please look at the chapter once again before you move ahead with this lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.